Coronavirus is inspiring panic buying across the globe, most especially in the USA where people have reportedly been hoarding toilet paper. Tensions flared at Woolworth Chalora around 7 o'clock this morning when three women became involved in a toilet paper tussle. I just want one pack. No, not one pack. Hello, boys. Find everything you need? Yep, I said. Okay, let's see here. Toilet paper. Toilet paper. Toilet paper. Toilet paper. Why is everyone scrambling for toilet paper all of a sudden? Consumer behavior researcher Kit Yarrow suggests it's a case of our social primate brains reacting to news feeds full of striking but sometimes disorienting visual cues. When we feel anxious, which I think all of us do right now, it would be sort of abnormal to not feel a little anxious. The antidote to anxiety is always control, said Yarrow. And since we can't really control the track of this disease, we turn to what we can control, and that is why people are shopping. It's like, well, I feel like I'm doing something. I feel like I'm preparing. I feel like I'm taking control of the thing I can control, which is stocking up. Some of the people that are doing the hoarding, they're not bad people, and they're not selfish people. They're just scared people and I think that if they thought about their connection to others and their responsibility to the community, they probably wouldn't do it, Yarrow added. I live in a small town in um, the northwest of Mexico and in order for me to get supplies in a real grocery store, I need to drive about 25 minutes to the nearest city. So I'm gonna do that now because um, today is the start of the lockdown. It's okay to go to the grocery store, but make sure to maintain your distance. It's also very important to put priority in what you need. So right now, I would usually buy a few bottles of wine, but right now, it's not in the top priority of need. I'm just gonna skip the alcohol. According to Daniel Klein, one of the biggest problems facing retailers has been consumers buying more than they need. It's somewhat understandable for people to want to stockpile supplies, but doing so means others won't get items they need. If you don't need an item in the next two weeks, leave it for someone who does. Hoarding and stockpiling creates unnecessary gaps between the time that someone who truly needs a product can find it back on the retailer shelves. Basically, if everyone takes only what they need, more people can be served. Hoarding products only contributes to the fear surrounding the virus, so everyone, please do not hoard. The gourmet section is my favorite. These are not urgent needs, but they're so nice to look at. For emergency, we got some Asian food in Mexico. I really love these noodles. I didn't tell you, but at home, I'm just not eating meat. I'm only eating meat when I'm traveling, for my job, of course, but um, in cases like this, right now, during the lockdown, we need to have instant food that can sustain us. Of course, I'm gonna cook this in a pan just to make sure I just don't put hot water on it. But I love Shin! What we need to do at this time is to be prepared. And being prepared does not mean stockpiling or hoarding. I don't remember the last time I had canned food, but in the case that none of us are allowed to go out even to buy supplies, having canned food will be very convenient. Also add non-perishables, long-lasting perishables, frozen fruits, and canned vegetables to your grocery list. 
The dogs won't also be going to the beach for a while, so I'm gonna buy them some treats. Look at all these. Archie will be happy. Bills are also very dirty, so if you have a credit or debit card to use in shopping, that's probably a better idea. Happy? Ja? Also make sure that you have echo bags and stuff like this if you have a car. I always have these crates and um, I ask the, the cashier to not put my stuff in a plastic bag. The cart will do so I just um, walk with a cart to the car and that's it. I also love plants. If you can see my house, I have so much plants in my patio. But now I'm looking for something that um, edible, something that I can eat, you know, like tomatoes, kale. I don't know if they have it here. But I'm gonna see. ¿Qué verduras y frutas? Sí, de qué lado? Por allá, todas. Ah, mira, el limón, qué bueno. Gracias. Chile o jitomate o. Lechuga, ah, lechuga. Este es habanero. Wow. ¿Qué es eso? Chile. Chile. No, eso tengo en mi casa. Sí. Bueno. Dame. ¿Y eso? Es albahaca, ¿no? You did it. We're going. Hola. Toma. Así. Gracias. That is it. I finished my shopping. I took my time, of course, because I needed to think twice before grabbing a product. But I'm pretty good for the next two weeks. I won't go to the market. I won't go to the grocery. I have everything I need for the lockdown, and I will stay inside until it is safe to go outside so have a great week everyone i want to know what are your grocery practices where you're from are there any rules about um shopping in pairs or each household can only shop one person at a time um, let me know the shopping or grocery situation in your area in the comment box below. Have a great week!